Hey there! Now if you're watching this on the day it was uploaded, which you definitely are not, today is my 26th birthday. And even at 26, I still live in the same house that I grew up in. So before you call me a loser and a baby, which I am, let me explain why living at home is still the best choice for me. Okay, so living at home in your mid to late 20s doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be a freakishly large and depressed version of Honey Boo Boo, but there's definitely a stigma against it. People assume that it means you're lazy and unemployed, that you're sitting on your ass playing video games all day, and that you're a mama's boy living off of daddy's money. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people who do fit this description, but someone who chooses to stay at home for a little longer than what is deemed as acceptable or cool can still be independent and be working towards building a better future for themselves. And in a lot of other cultures and countries, living at home even until you're in your 30s is a lot more common than you think. This pressure that we feel to move out is mostly because of how life used to be decades ago in Western societies. People would get married and start families essentially right out of college. It was a lot easier to land a job that paid a livable wage, and it was much, much cheaper to rent or to buy a home. So this societal expectation of moving out as soon as you possibly can just isn't consistent with the reality of life in 2021, and conforming to it can actually be harmful to building wealth and to achieving your ambitions. There are some real practical advantages to living with your parents a little longer than you might want to. The biggest one for most people is the financial benefit of not having to pay rent and utilities and saving a large amount on food and groceries. And if you're a college graduate, or even worse, in grad school, you are probably swimming in a deep sea of debt that's going to take you years to get out of. So giving yourself the chance to put your first paychecks towards paying off these loans when they haven't accrued much interest yet is a much smarter financial decision than paying over $1,000 for a bedroom in a tiny apartment with your three college friends who you now realize annoy the shit out of you. And having less financial responsibilities also means that you can take more career risks and not get stuck at a job that you hate just to make ends meet. Living at home might also make you healthier because you're having home-cooked meals all the time. Whereas on your own, you're likely to resort to the cheaper and convenient options, which are usually not the healthiest. And my favorite benefit personally is getting to do my own laundry without stress. I can't even imagine ever letting my precious clothes touch the bottom of a community washing machine or a laundromat. Ugh, filthy animals. Okay, while that is not not true, my favorite part of being at home is getting to spend time with my parents. It's funny how when we're teenagers, we get to live with our parents, but we fight with them and resent them. And then once we're older and can start appreciating them more, we bolt out of the house as fast as we can. Life is short, and spending as much time as we can with the people that we love will always be worth it. Plus, it's nice to always have someone to hang out with. Hey guys, do you want to watch Ratatouille with me? Again? Didn't we do this already? So maybe there are some cons of living at home. Obviously, if you don't get along well with your parents, the financial benefits that you get from living at home are not worth it if that means you're compromising your mental health. And if you don't take responsibility for yourself while you're at home, you can very easily fall back into lazy habits that you had as a kid. Living on your own forces you to be independent and grow and learn new things, but at home, you're more likely to be content and lack motivation, and it can potentially limit your career opportunities if you don't live near a big city. And the other obvious one is that it makes dating and relationships a bit more challenging. Whether it's right or wrong, potential partners might see you as immature for living at home, and you'd have much more privacy if you had your own place. But like with any other big decision, you have to weigh the pros and cons and decide what you find to be more valuable. Personally, I would rather live at home now in my mid-20s and save as much money as I can. That way, when I finally do move out, I can get a much nicer place rather than having to hop between apartments each year with roommates because I'm never able to save and therefore never able to upgrade my living space. Living at home also gives me this opportunity to go after an ambitious career path without worrying about a bunch of bills to pay. And if there's any time in my life to chase after what I want, it's right now. So while I don't want to advocate being a total loser like me, I do want to highlight the importance of living life at your own pace. And if anyone judges you for living in your own way, maybe they're not someone that you need in your life. Making smart sacrifices while you're in your 20s can be the best way to set you up for long-term success and happiness. All right, 
time to go eat some cake. Take care.